back with another banger, guys. What's going on? What is going on? Let's talk a little Jasmine this morning. All right, so I wanted to have a quick look back at the team's KPI goals, guys, because, you know, every once in a while I get, I've been getting a couple of people lately been saying, oh, I watched this other YouTube channel, and they said that, you know, the price of Jasmine, you know, would have to be $50 billion market cap to get it to a dollar, and, you know, what if, what if, you know, what if it doesn't get to a dollar? They're freaking... And you also get certain, like, you know, every once in a while you see someone in the comments or something. What you have to realize is these people don't do any research. I've banged on this drum a hundred times, but every once in a while you got to remind people. When you see another channel or someone in the comments saying, oh, you know, there has to be a $50 billion market cap to get to a dollar. Right? Guys, I'm about to show you the amount of research that they do when they give their price prediction, okay? This is what they do. They go right here to coin market cap, as you can see, right? They come here, they type in Jasmine. Oh, look, they pulled up Jasmine, okay? Then they go and they look at this, max supply, and they see 50 billion. And then they go, oh, has to be a $50 billion market cap to get to a dollar. That's the maximum amount of research that they do when they're giving their price predictions, okay? which is zero research whatsoever. They come to coin market cap, they look at the total market the total max supply. Sometimes they look at the circulating supply, but Jasmine circulating supply is almost completely in circulation, so you just round up to 50 billion at that point, right? And then they go and they start spewing out the number 50 billion dollar market cap like they did some sort of complex mathematical equation and did some deep dive research and that they know better than people who cover Jasmine on a literally daily basis, right? So I'll break it down and tell you why you don't have to worry about these imbeciles who don't actually do any research, who just go to coin market cap and go dee, 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 dee. now I know how to do research, right? I did a research, look at me, okay? So if we come over and this is, this is where they get lost and why they look foolish because they don't research. You cannot go out and start spewing price predictions on projects when you haven't done any research on who runs the project, on what the goals are for the company, what developments they're coming up with, what recently have they come up with, what's in the future, what projects are they currently developing. If you don't do any research on any of this stuff, you have no business throwing out a price prediction video at all, right? <laughs> because it is, you're just doing it for clicks. You don't actually know what's going on, right? And this is a perfect example of that, okay? You have a look at Jasmine's KPI goals here. Now, this is the max supply, 50 billion tokens, okay? The goal is to have, as you can see here, 36 billion locked up taken out of circulation okay D data utilization business completely locked up via partnerships through exchanges and through the personal data locker okay taken out of circulation that leaves you with 14 billion tokens in circulation okay so now does let me ask you does the market cap need to be 50 billion for it to get to a dollar with 14 billion tokens in circulation? You do the math, right? You see what I'm saying? See how foolish they look now? Because they didn't do any research into the company. They didn't do any research into the personal data locker, into Jankshin's blockchain, into the L2 itself, into the utilization of Jasmine coin. They didn't do any research. So whenever you see those price prediction videos coming out, they just look foolish, right? So I, I hope that clears a little bit up for you guys. These are the goals directly from the team, okay? This is not from some YouTuber. These are not goals from some someone over on X. These are the goals from the team at Jasmine, okay? From Hara. These are the goals. So... I just wanted to put that out there to clarify for some people because, you know, they get worried. And I understand that why you would get worried because if you're newer to crypto and you see that kind of thing, well, naturally your instinct is to be like, well, you know, what's the truth, 
right? Where, where's it going to go? So now you have a better idea of why they're wrong when they say that the market cap of Jasmine has to be 50 billion to be a dollar, right? Um, doing research matters. To get to a dollar, you don't need a $50 billion market cap when you've only got $14 billion in circulation. PDL is going to be live very soon, guys. And yeah, the sky's the limit in my opinion. So, but let me know what you guys think. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, guys. Click the join button to join our community. Guys, jump over to the Patreon. Book your one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. Uh, we do a lot of deep diving over there and stuff. People get heads up a lot sooner on stuff. We do swing trade opportunities. We do technical analysis training videos over there. Uh, we do we have uh, crypto giveaways over there. We have the live chat going 24-7, a great community. Um, my portfolio, there's so much going on over there. I can't even keep, can't even keep up with it all. Um, just so much, guys. You are, If you're not over on the Patreon, you're definitely missing out. That is where a lot of the alpha is, guys. Uh, education is important in this cycle. We're forming exit strategies right now for everyone. We're in phase two of creating our exit strategies. Get over there, guys. Start getting involved. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.